So I was playing around with the Raspberry Pi 5 and I've been trying to get KDE Plasma as my desktop environment in Raspberry Pi OS and I haven't managed it yet although various different things have changed and been installed uh, and I've played around with Vulkan thanks to PyKiss and a few other tweaks that I've been trying and I've managed to get GameCube working. So let's have a look at it. Some of the icons look a bit different and when we go through what's installed various different things have been added as part of installing KDE but I still can't log out and then be able to log back in with the KDE interface uh, but I'm not really that worried about it at this early stage uh, so let's try Dolphin Emulator and you can see that it's coming up uh, it recognizes my Xbox 360 controller and if I get it open you can see the game that everybody's requesting Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX one of my favorite games of all time uh, and this is using OpenGL, I'll, I'll go through in a minute, um, but I'll also try and put a few other games on, but I'll show this first of all. So all the menus are working fine, nice and snappy. I haven't really played around with any of the settings yet. I did try Vulkan and it crashed, but I'll try it again as I've had it working. As it seems to do on other ARM devices, uh, it also comes up with occasional error. Uh, and it will stop it but you can see that it's running pretty fast well, I'm not configured my X and Y is not configured right so I can't grind in the same way that I normally do but as you can see it's working nice and fast uh, it's working as it should be and I'm super impressed so let's quit out of that and just show you uh, graphics OpenGL at the moment but we can pick Vulkan so open, yeah, okay, and if you ignore, it just quits out of it. So not Vulkan, but OpenGL. So could possibly be better with Vulkan uh, in the future when we get that properly working. So let's close that bit. I'm gonna close this down and just show, I've got a little USB stick, you might have noticed in the hub right at the start of the video, uh, which is this one, which is my RetroPie stick. So let's just copy over another ROM from the GameCube folder. So let's go with Hulk, Simpsons Hit and Run, Tomb Raider, and a bit of Kelly Slaters. All right, so we'll go with Auto Model Easter, which I think runs bad even on Orange Pie uh, on Android, but we'll give it a try. So if I go to Home and Downloads, that's where I've been putting everything and paste that in. I've also been playing around with 4K playback, but I'll do that in a different video, and also Kodi, which is in here. And I had to use LightDM instead of SDDM for the Display Manager, uh, which is the opposite to the Pi 4 to get it to work. But when I tried before using SDDM, uh, it didn't work, and it just completely crashed. And also I've had problems with uh, the Vulkan drivers. If I try and update it in the normal way, I sometimes get it where my system won't reboot. So I don't apply updates if I'm doing the gaming side of it at the moment. So I'm gonna edit the first part of this video and come back when that's done. Okay, so let's go back into Delphin and let's open up and you can see I've got more games in here. And Auto Model Easter, I'm aware of the risks. I didn't read any of that, it's quite late. And at the moment, I'm not really explaining how to do things, but rest assured, I'll go through tutorials on anything I've got working. But the trouble is with beta software at the moment, I could tell you things uh, and nobody's, well, not very many people have got Pi 5s and it could change by the time it comes out. So I will definitely be back on the old tutorial when things are a bit more stable and things like Android come out and, you know, Windows 10, 11 and 12 maybe. Be interested to see that uh, version of Windows, which is based a bit like a Chromebook. Okay, so it's not it's not full speed, but it's not it's not bad, you know. I realise I've got frames on there, although it does say what something to eighty three percent. That's that's faster than I had in the Orange Pi uh, when I tried it. I'm pretty sure I tried it. Maybe I did it on the four gig Orange Pi. Uh, oh, the handling's. Uh, is uh, you got to get used to a bit and I guess because there's a bit of lag okay so that's definitely not perfect uh, and again this is without any changes or anything 
So let's uh, quit out of that, let's press escape. And let's try something which is a bit easier to emulate. So Hulk, Hulk actually worked pretty well on the Pi 4, uh, especially with lacquer and a 2.3 overclock. I haven't overclocked my Pi 5, this is running stock at the moment. I did have a little play with it earlier on, uh, but I'm still using a Pi 4 power adapter and I don't have uh, a heat sink. I've only got a fan at the moment. Not that I'm really that worried about it, but I see Tom's hardware managed to get up to three gigahertz. So uh, yeah, that'll be interesting to try. And this is something we can't do with the RK3588 and 3588S. Pretty sure I've, I've looked at it before and couldn't find a way of, of properly overclocking. They seem to be locked. Uh, right, if it does this, sometimes it doesn't recover from this. Yeah, so I think I need to restart when that happens. But usually what happens is it does it once and then the next time it doesn't do it on that same error. Uh, there's probably a way of turning that off. So the system's not completely down there, but it does seem to not let me shut down the Dolphin emulator. Should we try Control Alt Delete? And let's just reboot. Oh. Okay, so okay, let me go past it. Oh yeah, that's nice. I never know how to play this really, but you can literally just hammer buttons. It is it is pretty cool. Yeah, that's way faster than the Pi 4. That feels absolutely fine. And so if I press OK rather than ignore, and we're OK, look. Oh, but then you have to click on it to to get the control back in. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. Right, so B and Y. Yeah, that works. Right, so let's quit out of this. And yes, and try something else. Kelly Slater. This often comes up with some graphical errors. You can see I've got this low voltage warning um, because I'm using the Pi 4 adapter. I am using an SD card though, and I'm using a powered USB hub, so there's not the only thing I've got plugged in, actually my mouse keyboard doesn't need to be plugged into my Pi, it could all be plugged into the hub. So all of the menus seem to look all right. Let's just skip through all of this. And I always forget which button is to, to launch and things like that. So we have some wipeouts. Right, so let's try, <laughs> okay. Oh, I can see straight away, it's not struggling with it at all. Oh, we're up. Here we go, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have tried to land sideways. Let's give that one more go. Yeah, we're up. Oh, let's get a bit more speed. Let's land it a bit better. You can do these tight turns. But that, yeah, that's way faster than on Pi 4. Which, obviously, it should be. But uh, at this early stage, to be getting GameCube working and working nicely, I'm super happy with that. So let's try something else. Tomb Raider. This always looks nice. So let's see how well it performs on the cutscenes. Yeah, it's looking all right. No stuttering audio or anything, which I was definitely getting on the Pi 4. Right, is it gonna let me skip cinematic? Oh, we're in already. Mm, bit of slow down there. Oh, why to go up? Again, I don't know if I've, if I've configured this the, the exactly right. But for the purpose of just sort of running around and having a look at it. Yeah, that's perfectly playable. So I think X is Y. And let's try and get, what have we got here? Y to grab. Okay, so X and Y is reversed at the moment. Let's just have a look around the environment and see. 
So you can see the distance and everything looks pretty nice. There's something to collect down here, look. Oh, oh not like that. Yeah, that's impressive. Okay, happy with that? We've got one more game, haven't we? Which was, oh yeah, Simpsons Hit and Run. This is a cool game. And this has also got a really long intro. Actually, Tomb Raider didn't have a long intro. You could skip it. But uh, this stays on this screen. I, I showed it in a probably in a Pi 4 video or maybe an Orange Pi video, and it just stuck on this screen for a long time. And apparently it does that, and you just have to wait. 20 years ago, like 2003. And it says at the top, it says uh, VPS at 7 to 11 percent. So it's definitely running slow for some reason on this particular bit, which is just a still screen. Maybe it's just loading the game engine in the background. Speeding up, 21. OK, the audio is bad on this and it's going really slow. Oh, no, it's got past it. The audio is fine again. Oh, it's slowing down really badly there. I can, I can see it's gone down to 18 percent. So there's obviously some bit about some of these loading screens that it doesn't like, or whether it's just loading in the engine. Oh, talk to Marge. Let's just go for a drive. Oh, it's running slow. Oh. Oh yeah, there's definitely some slowdown in this. Might need to play around with some of the settings. If it's been because it's been on for a bit longer, uh, that maybe it's struggling with that. Uh, you know, maybe if I restart, it might it might improve it. Because I've definitely had this running all right before, and that auto model Easter was running really well. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there. I'll, I'll definitely have more of a play around with it, and I'll do a tutorial on how to get it running at some point. But it's so many people haven't got Raspberry Pi fives at the moment and it's going to change that it's not worth doing at the moment. But uh, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.